Hi there, Toy here, and it's time to get caught up with my February wrap up. So yeah, I'm a little late this month. Um, it's actually a whole new month. I should have done a wrap up earlier in the month of March for February because it's almost time for me to do my March wrap up. So I wanted to get this done. My goal for this year has been to do at least one video every month, but some things happened. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is barely here. So I couldn't record for a while because I couldn't talk. Plus there was a lot of drama with my day job that just kind of took over everything. So now that things are starting to settle, I need to get caught up. So I'm going to be shooting two videos back to back and I'm going to be doing a bonus video for those of you who are subscribed to my newsletter because I have some things I want to talk about concerning my children's books. But first, let's get to my Goodreads reading challenge. For the month of February, if you remember, I did a graphic novel readathon. My goal was to try to read 25 graphic novels. Um, I actually thought that I had two of them, but I didn't. So realistically that bumped it down to 23 graphic novels. So here is the actual breakdown of what I did in the month of February. I read 17 graphic novels or comic books. I read five other books which were either novels, short stories, or children's books for a total of 22 publications in the month of February. I thought that was pretty good. So as of right now I've read 28 out of my total 60 for the year. That puts me at 45%. I am 15 publications ahead of schedule. So first thing I want to do is real quickly go through the books that I read in February. I know you're thinking if I was spending all that time reading graphic novels and comic books, why was I still reading books? And I mentioned in a previous video that I have a very long commute to work. I normally will read a book on my Kindle and then listen to it in the car. It makes the reading experience, I think, more immersive for me. So because I was reading my graphic novels, I just did the uh, listening part in the car. And that was kind of difficult for some of the stories without having that textual, that vision, a uh, visual reference. But it, either way, I got through five books. So I read Stars Above, which is a short story collection in the Lunar Chronicles, this is after the final book in the series, and it basically takes a bunch of short stories that the author had already written, along with a couple of new ones that all take place in the Lunar Chronicles universe involving some of the characters. And I gave it a five star. I, I mean, I love the Lunar Chronicles, so of course, I was all about stars above. I also read Rise of the Sea Witch, a novel by Stacey Rourke. It's a new series that she's doing, and I'm actually I literally am like either one page away or yeah, I'm one page away from finishing the second book in the series, which I'll be um, doing my review on my blog because I'm part of the blog tour. It's the first arc I've had this year. I rated Rise of the Sea Witch a 4 out of 5. I would have given it a 4.5 if I could, but um, it's listed on Amazon and Goodreads as a 4 star. Then I also read Lord of the Flies. This was a book club read. Um, we voted on it. My, my choice didn't win. <laughs> I had already read Lord of the Flies as a kid in school, didn't like it, but I thought reading it again as an adult, it would give me a different perspective. And I guess maybe it did give me a different perspective, but I still didn't like it. I appreciate it for what it is. I ended up giving it an overall star rating of three stars. And um, my book club is doing a discussion on it right now on Goodreads. So if you're interested in joining me Insecure Writer Support Group Book Club, you can join that discussion. The next book that I read was Pea Soup Disaster, and this was a children's book. One of my favorite authors, Chris Fay, apparently her mother is also an author. I think that's great. And so she did this children's book, and I read it, and it was really cute. I ended up giving it a four star, and I felt kind of silly because I thought that the formatting was a little bit off, but then I realized that I got a digital art once I got to see what the printed pages look like. I had to include a correction in my review because there was nothing wrong with the formatting. And then the last thing that I read was a short story, an exclusive, from one of my favorite authors, Alex J. Kavanaugh. 
and this was an addition to his standalone novel Dragon of the Stars and the story was Dragon's Destiny I absolutely love it it's not listed on Goodreads but I, I'm going to put it on there so that I can count it towards my list and it'll be a five star rating sorry that my voice is coming and going I told you people I lost my voice so I'm trying to get this video in so I don't have any excuses for not getting a video posted please bear with me so that lets you know the books that I read in February. So now I'm going to go through all the graphic novels and comic books that I read in the month of February. And I'm actually going to go through them in the order that I read them. I will tell you their overall star rating. If I feel the need to elaborate on that a little bit, I will. One thing I will definitely do is let you know whether or not it was a graphic novel or a comic book because there were some things that I had that I thought were graphic novels that ended up just being comic books and then there was a, a few that were a little different and I'll mention that. So the first thing I read was Descender Volume 1 10 Stars and this is a graphic novel about robots in a galaxy far away kind of. <laughs> anyway, um, I ended up giving it an overall star rating of a 4. I really enjoyed it and I'll continue reading the series. The next thing I read was X-Men Season 1. This is from Marvel. I'm a pretty big X-Men fan. I'm already familiar with the story. I just hadn't read this one. Um, I may or may not continue reading the the rest of this series, but this is um, season one and I ended up giving it an overall star rating of four. The next thing I read was Lumberjanes. <laughs> and actually, Lumberjanes caught me off guard. I didn't realize that it was... I don't know what the right word is without sending negative. I'll just go ahead and tell you, I gave it an overall star rating of four, so I did like it. For some reason, I just thought it was going to be a little bit more mature. Not like risque mature, just more mature. Like this is definitely something for like kids to read. Not little kids, um, preteens, teenagers, whatever. But yeah, it was really cute. Uh, I just didn't know that it was going to be so cute. <laughs> so next thing that I read was The, the Wicked and the Divine, Volume 1, The Faustus Act. And it's a young adult story, but it is very mature. So if you want to check out my rating for that, check the link below because it may not be suitable for all teens. I ended up giving this one an overall star rating of four. Next, I read Wires and Nerves, Volume 1. And this is a graphic novel from the Lunar Chronicle series. This is how, I guess, Marissa Ryers is continuing the story, even though she's finished the Lunar Chronicles. And this, this particular series is spotlighting Ico, the android. And there's still appearances from the other characters, but I really really enjoyed it. Um, you would have to read my review to see why I didn't give it like a five out of five stars. But regardless, I really did enjoy this graphic novel and I'm going to read more. I can't wait to get the next one. The next thing I read was Wool. And this is a graphic novel. I think it's a three part series altogether. But this graphic novel, I guess, introduces this futuristic dystopia. And um, I ended up giving it an overall star rating of five. I thought it was a very gritty, thought-provoking story, so I, I really enjoyed that. The next one I read was um, Monstress Awakening, and this one, again, is a young adult graphic novel series. Um, this is the first volume in the series. I'll probably read more of it. This one, again, I would caution you to maybe read my review. It's not suitable for all teens. Uh, this is probably my top um, read for the month of February. I really enjoyed Monstress. Aside from the story being interesting, the artwork in it is absolutely beautiful. Like, I would take like, I would need two physical copies of this one because I would want one just to like rip up the pages and hang up like pieces of art. It was very beautifully drawn. Okay, the next thing that I read, and that was a five star rating if I didn't say that. The next thing that I read was Legion of Monsters. This was by Marvel. And this one I ended up giving an overall star rating of a four. It was a fun read. And then the next one, this one ended up being a single issue. It was not a graphic novel, which I'm actually glad that it was a single issue. It is very rare for me to give any publication a one star, but that's what I did with Arcane Awakening. Uh, typically, I love anything that's about angels. This particular um, single issue comic book did nothing for me. If you want to know why, check out my review. Next thing I read was Angel Boy. And this one actually is a manga. 
So it's still a graphic novel, but if you know the difference between like graphic novels and manga, that's great. This is the first manga that I've read, so I don't know if that really made a difference. I ended up giving it an overall star rating of three. I didn't dislike it, but I think the format was different for me. Uh, I enjoyed it a whole lot more than Arcane, <laughs> but it was just kind of a, an odd story for me. So again, if you want to know more about my thoughts on Angel Boy, you can check out the link below. The next thing I read was Paper Girls Volume 1, and I ended up giving Paper Girls an overall star rating of 4. Again, this was a really fun read. Uh, if you are a fan of Stranger Things, you'll probably like Paper Girls, especially if you're into comic books. It's like Stranger Things, only with girls instead of boys. I will say that Paper Girls came first as far as, you know, it was published first and then Stranger Things came out. Uh, with that said, I if they were the same, like, medium like if Paper Girls and Stranger Things were both a comic book or both a TV series I think I would like Stranger Things more just because um, this first volume in the Paper Girl series seems to be a little lacking something but who knows when I read the next volume I might be like what but anyway I really enjoyed it and I'm gonna read more in the series okay the next thing I read I was disappointed it was only a single issue when I discovered it this is actually a digital comic that I discovered on my Kindle apparently it was something that I downloaded a long time ago and it said that it was issues one through three that it was a complete volume but after I read it I realized that it wasn't it was just the first issue so I was disappointed ended up giving it an overall star rating of three like this wasn't a bad comic book it was it was quirky it was different um it's kind of hard to explain explain it but I'm definitely not disappointed that I'm read it. I kind of wish I could find the other two issues just because I read the first one. But I'm not heartbroken over it. Apparently it's no longer available. But if you come across McBlack issue two or three, let me know. All right, the next thing that I read was the Sworn Sword graphic novel. This is the Hedge Knight graphic novel two from the Game of Thrones series. And... um ended up giving it an overall star rating of four. If you like sword and sorcery type stories, you'll like this. Um, I will say that this is like a, it's a prequel side story. So if you're looking for, you know, battles between like the Lannisters and all those people, you're not going to see that. That's not what this is. This is, this is a truly like a knight's story, chivalry and all that jazz. So if you like that kind of stuff, you'll like this. But if you're expecting it to be like the TV show, you're going to be disappointed. Next is Gherkin Boy. This was another um, graphic novel that I found on my Kindle, but I knew I had it. I just forgot to mention it, I think, in the first video. But I, I knew I was going to read it. Now, here's the thing about Gherkin Boy. I ended up giving it a two star. That's my DNF rating. Did not finish. The reason why I usually will do that is because if I don't finish a book, I like to give it the benefit of the doubt. And I did go, I did get to the end of this book, but I skipped around so much that the confusion that I was feeling over the story, I think I added to that. Um, I may or may not ever go back to read it. It was just a really unusual kind of odd read it's actually listed on goodreads as an activity book which kind of helps because the way it's drawn was really confusing to me like I, I know i'm probably not making this sound good i'm i'm telling you i'm pretty sure someone out there loves this book but i didn't i was very confused while i was trying to read it thus i skipped around didn't really finish it so I gave it a two star and it's actually by one of my favorite authors Russell Nolte I love his work everything else that I've ever read from him has been phenomenal four stars or higher this is the first time I've read something of his that I was just I just didn't get it so you can read my review if you want okay now this one was not on my original list I found this one on my phone what yeah I forgot that I had <laughs> a Kindle app on my phone that was set up because we have Prime. And um, so yeah, I found a comic book, well, a graphic novel, and it was called Unity Volume 1 to Kill a King. And it's kind of like a um, an Avengers type story, 
but the characters aren't as elaborate as some of the Avengers characters, but it's a, it's a team of heroes who come together to try to thwart a, a mutual enemy. Uh, it's a, kind of dark. There's, there's a couple of different things going on, you know, when you have a story like that. And anyway, I thought it was very entertaining. Like, I want to read more of it. So I ended up giving that an overall star rating of four. And that was called Unity. The next thing that I rated that is not on Goodreads yet, so I'll need to add it so that it's properly included in my um, list for the year. And this was an independent graphic novel that I actually got through a Kickstarter. And it's called The Console. And I ended up giving it an overall star rating of three. I think it's a very interesting story. I'm, I'm going to try to read more of it if I can see if that artist is doing more with it. I think it was just, um, and this one ended up being um, not a full graphic novel either. This was like one or two issues. So I'm hoping that if I read like the whole thing, it'll be a more solid story because the introduction just, I mean, it's, it's enough to pull me into where I want to read more, but it didn't really satisfy me. So I ended up giving it, an, I, will, I will end up giving it an overall star rating of three. The last graphic novel that I read was Scott Pilgrim Volume 1, Scott Pilgrim's Precious Little Life, and um, ended up giving it an overall star rating of four. If you've seen the movie Scott Pilgrim, um, then, then you get this graphic novel. The, I'm pretty sure the writers of the movie use the graphic novel to storyboard out their like each little scene, each little frame, it's in the it's in the graphic novel. And so I'll just give you a little, I don't think it's a spoiler, but basically Scott Pilgrim ends up liking this girl. She has all these ex-boyfriends that he has to like battle. And so the first book leads you up to the first one. And I'm assuming at this point that each volume afterwards is a different battle that he has to have. So it's very fun because I liked the movie. I'll probably get more in the Scott Pilgrim series just to see how it played out in the books. So that is what I read in the month of February. That's a lot, I know. And, um, you know, but I enjoyed it reading, getting caught up on all these graphic novels. I had a bunch that I didn't get to, but I do have plans for those down the road. You will see more graphic novels from me. So if there's any graphic novels you want to let me know about, please do. I'm, I'm open. <laughs> and that's all I have for now. Bye-bye.